Welcome back to SnowRunner, guys, and today we're going to be checking out Red's 1990 Jeep MJ TTC. Of course, TTC standing for Top Truck Challenge. Now, the cool part about this rig is that he's actually made it available to the public on Mod.io, and I will, of course, have a link to where you guys can check it out in the description box down below. Now, it is worth going ahead and noting right off the bat that this is obviously a branded vehicle. It says Jeep right there on the front, and thus it is a PC-only mod, but let's go ahead and dive straight into the customization and see what you can do with this thing before we get it out on some trails. And I've even put together a special tow rig for this one. So it's going to be a really fun time. So let's go ahead and see what we can do here. We got a 4BT swap and that is the only engine option you get. Gearbox wise, you have default and manual buzz tuned. Suspension wise, you've got a damage and no damage version. I mean, really at that point, it's completely up to your own personal preference. I'm going to go with no damage, but that's just because I don't really want to worry about the suspension damage while I'm out rock crawling. And then tires wise, you've got a massive selection of 46s. You've got, let's see, uh, cut swampers. You've got Baja claws. You've got stickies. You've got, let's see. Oh my God. You got more Baja claws. You've got another set of stickies. Interco boggers, you've got trail grapplers. Some of these, by the way, are 2.5 friction, and the ones that do have that are actually listed right up there next to the tire list. Um, then you have a more standard level of grip, and actually, I think the trail grapplers look really, really good on this thing, but I'm also a big fan of the Pitbull rockers that he has on it as standard. Now, let's see what else he has. Oh, he's got trepidors, he's got irox, and then he's actually got studded tires as well for if you want to take this thing into an icy or snowy envi environment. So I think I'm going to actually go with the Maxxis trepidor. Mm -hmm. Oh, I was going to go with those, and then I was like, no, you know what? It looks it looks better on the pit bulls. It really does, though. I feel like it does. I feel like it looks so incredibly good on the pit bulls. But then again, I mean, you know, tires are one of those things where it's entirely a personal preference. It's entirely up to you. Holy craps. So you have a regular CB antenna. You've got a another CB antenna with a coiled base. You've got an exo cage, which I would absolutely love to throw on there. The hood is removable, so you can actually see that 4BT in all of its glory. So let's go ahead and actually throw the hood back on for now. Got a high lift you can throw on the back. Let's see. Oh, dude, he's got a rear-mounted radiator too. Fuel cell. That's, that's properly sick. Rear-mounted winch also. That's wild. All right, so you've got an LED light bar, but that particular one removes the exo cage, so we're not going to do that. Blue rock lights, purple rock lights, red rock lights, and white rock lights. We'll do those. Rock sliders are on by default. Let's see. Window stickers and your, uh, yeah, your I've had a bad day tools, which I'll definitely go ahead and throw those on. Now, beverage-wise, this is kind of a staple of Red's mods. And the, the coolest part about this is that, I mean... Does it need to be there? Like, it doesn't really need to be there, quote-unquote, but it's so freaking cool that it is. Like, I love the fact that this is there as an option. It just adds such a, like, more personal level to the customization, and it adds so much more depth. I'm gonna go ahead and, you know what? Yeah, we're gonna throw Mountain Dew in there this time. And then wheels-wise, you have three different options with these tires. And, oh, okay, so I gotcha. There, essentially, you have this one, which is basically a, it's actually a really, really large, chunky beadlock design. Then you have these, which are much more of an old school design. And then these, which are, I believe they're still beadlocked, but a lot less, you know, again, a lot less of a chunky look than these wheels. But I'm gonna stay on these. Those look really good. Now, as far as the colors go, you essentially have free reign to paint this thing whatever color you want. And all of the colors actually look really, really good. There isn't a single color that I think looks out of place on this truck, and I think that's also that also really speaks to the level of detail and quality that this thing has, and I think I'm actually, you know, I didn't originally think I was going to really like it in red, but I really like it in red. So now, we're going to go ahead and throw beans on the dash, but it is worth noting that you can also throw the GGMS buffs, the GGMS radar, all of that good stuff on the dash of this thing as well. So let's go ahead and throw beans up there, and now we're going to leave the garage and get this thing up on the trailer that you can see right over there behind the lifted GMC Denali which has already been essentially fully built and set up for the purpose of towing this thing. Let's go ahead and line you up. Okay, you have to go ahead and turn the all-wheel drive on. Diff lock is always on, and I figured it was. Do we have... Yo, we have a working hood. Let's go. Bro, okay. I was worried that we weren't really even going to get to see the engine uh, if we left the hood on it, but I'm really glad that this thing's got a working hood. That's super sick. All right, let's get you up onto the trailer. Easy does it. Not bad. 
Now, today we are out here on the Desert Proving Grounds Stage 1 map, and even though these vehicles in particular are not available on consoles, the map is. So if you're on the console, or at really any of the consoles, and you want to actually like try this map out or try some of these uh, trails out yourselves, you can totally check this map out on PlayStation or Xbox. Let's get this thing fired up, get the ramps up. There we go. Bro, this thing is ready to freaking go. Like, I love the way this setup looks. It's such a, like, a fun and satisfying setup to drive because it just looks so good. It looks absolutely incredible. And it also looks totally, like, there's nothing out of it, like that looks out of place, in my opinion, about this setup. It just all looks right, you know? Now, we could head down that way, or rather, send the, uh, send the MJ down that way, but... I think we're going to take it up to one of these trails that's a little further up on the right. We're not going to do the entire, like, competition course up here. We're just going to do a little section of it because the... Whoa. Whoa. Holy crap. All right. That thing must weigh a lot. I did not anticipate the trailer pushing me that much. I really didn't. That was... Wow. Okay. That was a lot more of a push than I ever anticipated. Jeez though the lights of that body armor front bumper are insane all right so we got a repair station slash fuel station up here on the left so let's pull off the main road real quick we'll get this thing stopped move it up just a hair all right let's go ahead and unpack and we'll put the ramps down and then shut this thing down and grab the mj we'll back you up off the trailer and get you into the course. This is going to be interesting because obviously this is a little bit of a different course than the than the original TTC course that this was was designed for. But I wanted to just kind of see how it did on a like entirely different environment. All right, Whoop. we'll drive. Let's go. Oh, all right. We're going to need a little bit of a bump for that, I think. Oh, there it is. Put it back into automatic mode. The high range is actually set in a really nice ratio where essentially if you want to use it to just bump yourself right over something, you totally can. And actually you could do it in a realistic way too. Right into the mud. Easy. Mud and tires like right off the bat. And I know this isn't technically a TTC course, but man, you know, there's a lot of similar obstacle types out here. Little bit of water damage. Should have gone with a snorkel, but I didn't figure I was going to be doing much with water anyway on this test. Because I was like, oh, I'm out on, like, Desert Proving Ground Stage 1. I'm not really going to be dealing with water. And then I was like, oh, wait a minute. Yeah, this obstacle course has a ton of it. Now, this is what I wanted to find. A proper rock section. And low plus. Let's put it in low. Bro, this thing is so satisfying to watch go through the rocks. This is not even, like, full throttle. That's, like, three quarters throttle. And look at that realistic amount of flex. I mean, it's obviously a ton, but it's also not so much to the point where it's not believable, you know? It really does look like something that you would see, you know, out on a trip. Well, maybe not out on, like, your general trail, but, like, definitely out at, like, an off-road park or, a, you know, a Top Truck Challenge event. God, the way it just, like, scrambles up these rocks and it's like you can feel it, like, feeling for grip. Yeah, and you can really, you know, if you watch what this thing does on its way up the rocks, it really is just feeling its way around, feeling for grip, and it makes you want to drive it in a really, like, slow yet deliberate fashion. Easy. Come on. Bro, this thing is a blast. Let's give a look at the interior view. Yo, that is so sick. I love the racing wheel as well. You can see, you can see the dude down in there. <laughs> All right, come on. Scrambling it a little bit. There it is. Now we got a little bit of a downhill to do. And you can actually... <laughs> oh, that's so cool. If you turn the all-wheel drive off, you can use it to actually dig the front end around in a much sharper turning radius. That is so sick. All right, this is a steep downhill, though. We're going to have to pay attention here. Come on. Come on. There we go. Woo! <laughs> easy not bad though that actually dropped down that rock really nicely the center of gravity on this thing is tuned so well now let me ease it down over this side 
This is one of those vehicles where you could just honestly like trail ride in it for hours and just get lost in the experience, you know? Genuinely, you could get lost in the experience of driving this thing and, you know, 30 minutes would go by and then another 30 minutes would go by and then another 30 minutes would go by and then you'd be like, oh, I'm still driving this thing around because it's just, you know, it's just one of those vehicles where it's like, it's got this element of being engaging while also being kind of relaxing at the same time. It's it's a weird balance, and it's a very odd way to word that. And I know that some people might be like, what do you mean it's like engaging and relaxing at the same time? Well, honestly, if you wanted to just like chill out and take it through some trails, you totally could. And that would be the relaxing part of it. But where it gets engaging is where it can honestly like make its way through trails like this that are insanely tricky. You know, it can make its way through them in a realistic way and that's the engaging part of it. But it can also go right back to being a chill experience again. Also, this spot is, uh, I might be in a little bit of trouble here. There we go. Yo, I actually used that, oh my god. I used the front axle again to bring the front end around. That is so insane how that works. And it's insane how well it works as well. It's such a creative way to, like, design that into your crawler, too. Oh, easy. And the thing is, too, because of its capabilities, you have so many different line choices, it's insane. I mean, normally, you would have to go down to the left there, but in this thing, you could go up here to the right. You could be like, I think I see a line over there. I'm gonna try it. And sometimes it's gonna work, and sometimes it's not. But you know what? That's, like, half the fun of a vehicle like this, is just trying to find new lines. Although, here's a... Oh, here's a slight issue. I wonder if my, like, front end can help get me out of this. Maybe. Maybe not. Yeah, I, that one, that was not set up very well. But, I think I can just kind of ease my way along the sidewall through there. And I think we're good. Yep, we are good to go. Actually, I wonder if I could make a new line to go out of this on the side. I know I'm not technically following the trail, but I'm curious. I'm very curious. I mean, do I see a line? Sure. But just because I see a line doesn't necessarily mean it's there. Um, it's there! Come on, easy. There it is! Bro, all you have to do is just be patient, maybe ease off the throttle slightly, wait for it to grab grip, and then it goes. I mean, what an experience of a crawler. It really is genuinely an incredible experience, but it's much more than a crawler. It can be a trail rig. It can be a very competitive top truck challenge rig. It can essentially be whatever you want it to be, you know, within all of those different types of wheeling. And I think that honestly, like those of you that try this thing out, I think you're going to really, really enjoy it. And of course, let me know your thoughts and opinions on this video and this truck in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed it and you would like to see more, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn those notifications on. And I will see y'all next time. Talk to y'all later.